Hello everyone and welcome to Shanahan Militaria. Today we're going to talk about this. This is the uh, Military Prismatic Compass and it is standard issue to pretty much most Commonwealth countries in the world. Um, it is a magnetic surveyor's type compass is what it actually is. So we're going to have a quick look at the brief history of it and we'll give you a quick video tutorial on basic operation of the actual compass. So one second now and we'll just put it on the table. So now that we have the uh, prismatic compass on the table, we're just going to talk a small bit about it and show you. It's a steel construction. Uh, this one in particular, I'll just flip it the right way, was made by Stanley in of London. It has its own serial number and I believe that underneath is a NATO stock number. Um, you have the compass itself, has a top cover, uh, a housing and a thumb hold and an aperture. We'll show you these now in a second. You'll see here it's got a biohazard symbol. Let's get a little pin here or my little pointer that I made that I can show you. So it's got a biohazard symbol and the reason it's got a biohazard symbol is because that the actual illumination marks in it were made from tritium. So that's why it's got the biohazard symbol on it. So we're just going to open it up here and show you pretty much from the inside. So these are more of a surveyor type compass. Um, so who in the military would use these? Snipers, artillerymen, mortarmen, engineers. Um, they would need these to find direct azimuths from their location to a specific location. And what an azimuth is, it's a direction. From their location to a target so that they can either call in artillery fire so that they know where it is as a point of fire if they need to fire at it at a later point in time or just simply back for radio communications that they can give a direction towards something. Now unlike civilian compasses most military compasses are marked in mils rather than degrees and there are 6,400 mils in a circle in a military compass whereas via, via or compared to 360 degrees in a civilian type compass. So. This here is your locking plate, so I'll show you what this basically does. So this, when you open it, it lets this top plate rotate. And you can navigate with these compass, it's not the easiest thing in the world to do, but you can do it. So you, when you have your top cover closed, oh sorry, so there's a little indicator up here. A little line. That line is in line with your aperture and it is also in line with this, what we call the targeting line. Okay. So, how to get a quick direction compass or a uh, marching bearing is what you do is, okay, so we so we want to go 46 mils on our compass bearing. I lock this down, okay, I close the top cover. So all I have to do then is I have to get north on the actual compass to match with this azimuth here. Now it's not going to work properly because there's a huge air bubble in it. And so that's roughly in line with each other. So then this is my direction of march. So I take off in that direction. So you can roughly um, navigate with them. They're not ideal but they do work. So I'm just going to move the little aperture down now and I'll show you more what it's actually designed for. So we'll say I want to find a target or I want to find where I am in relation to a target. So you see here in front, there's a see-through plate. So I point that with my targeting line on what I want to take an azimuth of, okay? I line this line up with my aperture here, and then when I look through this little peephole, it will project, because there's actually a little prism in here, it will project a number. So therefore I can tell in mills what direction I am to the target that I'm pointing at. So I do a quick little picture here and I'm going to show you. So I want to, I want to know the top of the mountain so I shoot an azimuth to it, it comes back to me. Corner of the road I shoot an azimuth that comes back to me and a house and I shoot a line and it comes back to me. So where these lines intersect is where I am. So therefore, I can call in fire missions from my location to the house, the corner of the road, 
or the hill if I need to. So that's pretty much a simple, very very simpleized um, tutorial of what this compass can do or what this compass is designed for. Um, I got this off of Gary Hall, a friend of mine in the north who um, was getting rid of a, a huge collection of up banner stuff so that's how I came across this. Um, they're very nice little uh, piece to have in your collection and like that they're easy to show somebody how they're actually operated. So if you like what we provide here at Shanahan Militaria, please like, please subscribe, please leave a comment and please uh, hit the notification button. It helps very much with the show and the channel. Thank you very much and tune in for our next video.